Hello friends, welcome to the 46th session of Hybris tutorial. In this session, we are going to learn how to create a new item type from the very scratch. In our previous video, we had learned how to add new attribute into the existing item type. But in this video, we are going to create a new item type from the scratch, which will not extend any other existing item type. So this is my requirements. So in a simple words, I can write my requirement. So requirement is I need to create, I need to create a new item type, right? Or a new table from scratch, which doesn't exist exist any existing item type existing which doesn't extend any existing item type right so this is my requirement so how we can implement this and in this item type i need to declare two attributes as well right so this is my requirement so how we can implement this requirement that we are going to discuss in this video. So for that, what I will do, I will just take one sample item type and using that only, I will be, uh, you know, creating my new item type. So of course we will not be able to create the new item type in this core item.xml. We need to go in our custom item.xml in case you are extension is with any other name you need to open the item.xml of that uh, item type right so how you will do so for that what i will do guys i will be basically creating this new item type right over here like this i am going to create a new item type so i will be just closing this attribute then i will be closing this item type right so this is the way so what we will do so i am going to write item type code is equal to my custom item so this is the one uh, this is the new item type i am going to create this is not extending any item type that is why i will remove this so this is the jalo class so if we don't declare the jalo class then also it will work it will automatically create the corresponding jalo class and guys, since we are creating the new item type from the scratch, that is why it is necessary that we need to write auto create is equal to true because it is not extending any existing item type. That is why it is necessary to declare this auto create is equal to true. And similarly, it is necessary to declare the deployment uh, table as well. So I will give the deployment table name as my custom items. So this will be the table name and this is the corresponding item type. And then I will give that uh, type code. So we already know that one to 10,000 is reserved by Hybris. And after that, we can use any other item type. So I will just use this item type uh, type code. So before using this, I can just confirm whether I'm already using this or not. So it is not being used for any other item type. So I can safely use this. I will not use this property table concept for now. So I will remove this right and then in the attributes i have to declare two items uh, two attributes right so i will write something like this so this is the one attribute i have created attribute one right and then i will just give it type as java dot lang dot string right so this is how i have to declare and modify read is equal to true write is equal to of course true i will write and search is equal to true i will write and optional is equal to false that will work so persistence type is equal to property we will keep this for now and i hope you are already aware of what is this persistence type is equal to property in case you don't know you can watch my video on the dynamic attributes uh, the link of video is given in the description box as well as on the top right corner in the card section but for now i will keep this persistence type is equal to property and guys then i will do what i will do i will just create another attribute so this is the another attribute i am going to create right so i would give its name as attribute 2 right so this is the way i need to 
create a new item type. So I have to declare auto create is equal to true and I have to declare deployment table. So these are the two things we need to take care of if we want to create a new item type from the scratch which is not extending any other item type. So if uh, item type is not extending any existing item type, we need to take care that we need to, uh, you know, use this deployment table as a must, right? So now what I will do, I will just firstly build my project. So for that, I will just bring my server down, right? So I'm bringing my server down, then I will fire the command ant all. And once I fire the ant all command, you will find that we will have a corresponding model class, my custom item model dot Java, which will get created once the build is successful. So let's wait for the build to get finished, then we will proceed with our next steps. So guys, now you can see ant all command has been finished successfully. It means the project build has been completed successfully. Now we will bring our server up and you can see we are using this command hybrid server dot bat command and this will take around 20 minutes in my system to for the server to come up and this will take approximate same time in your system as well. So let's wait for the server to come up. Then we will perform the system update. And once we perform the system update, you will find that a new table, right? A new table with the name my custom items will get created into the DB. So let's wait for the server to come up. Then we will perform the system update. So guys, now you can see the server has come up. Now what I will do, I will open the HSC and I will perform the system update. So you can see uh, I have to log in with my credentials admin and nimda and then I will firstly try to search whether the new item type this one has been created in DB or not. So if I need to search in the flexible query I need to search by item type but if I want to search uh, in the SQL query tab then I have to search with the DB table name. But since I'm currently searching in the flexible query uh, tab, that is why I will be giving the item type over here. My custom item. So this is the item type we have created. So I will be searching the same, right? So I will click on the execute button, right? You can see uh, we don't have any item type. That is why this red strip is coming, right? So So now what I will do, I will uh, perform the system update. So to perform the system update, you have to go from the platform to update and there you just have to select this update running system option and you have to click on the update button. And once you click on the update button, you will see that the system update will start. Uh, and once the system update will get finished, we will see that the new uh, item type, right? This new item type or the new table will get created into the DB. So let's wait for this. Let's wait for the system update to get finished. Then we will check whether the new item type has been created or not. So guys, now you can see system update has been finished successfully and this has taken almost six minutes of time. Now we will go to the HSC again and we will search whether the new table or new item type has been created or not. I will log in again with my credential username is admin and password is nimda and I will search try to search into the item type. So my new item type was this one select star from and this is the new item type we had created right so i hope this should be clear to you we will try to search in this item type whether this has been created now or not and you can see now this has been created right and you will see that these are the two attributes p underscore attribute a one and attribute two these have been created now Right, so I hope guys this is clear to you how you can create an independent item type or independent table which is not extending any other existing item type how you can create that. So I hope this video is useful for you and guys if you like this video do share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching. Bye.